Maybe I'll start changing uh, something that Kenny Werner, one of my teachers, was great. He would talk about changing the function of the chord. had it more in a jazz standard context, but maybe in this, I've still got my bass motion. It's still a C chord, a G chord, and a D, but maybe I'm gonna change the nature of the chord, the function. Maybe put a little Aeolian vibe in the... And then do some voice leading within that on each chord. So those kind of things. I do. If you found anybody, um, for instance, you listen to somebody, oh, he sounds like Bill Evans or he sounds like Keith Jarrett. Have you heard anybody that, oh, he sounds like me, Kenny Warner? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm like that kind of an influence. Mm. I think it was all the guys I just mentioned, and then nobody really influenced anything until Brad Meldow came along. Because mm. now you hear a lot of guys play like him. Mm -hmm. I mean, there must be some people out there that are influenced by me, but I didn't make enough of a mark to an imprint for people to, to do that. And I also don't think I was doing something radically different enough to do that. You know, and there's, a, there's very few piano players in that category. The only guy that I can say that people have then, you know, played like, that I see wherever I go around the world is Brad. Mm -hmm. Since those other guys. Yeah. Hmm. 